All right. Hi, everyone. I am coming to you live from FIRE. It is on the very last day of FIRE. Uh, so it is a rope conference here in Orlando, my hometown. Yay! Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do some interviews with some of the vendors that are here. Um, since that's where I've been hanging out all weekend. This isn't one of my teaching conferences. So I've been hanging out in the vendor room and I really want to share with you guys some of the awesome vendors that are here. So we're going to bring them in one at a time and talk about kind of the cool stuff that they make and uh, the, the different things that they sell. So you guys can see if you got, if you for some reason missed the event or maybe you didn't get to come to the vendors room. Uh, so we're going to give them a chance to give information so you can contact them after the fact. Uh, pick up some of the great gear that you missed out on because it's pretty fantastic. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull in our first person and we're going to pull in Top Hat Designs. Come on in. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Ta -da! Complete with Top Hat. I'm not sure why they call me Top Hat Designs. No, I don't get it at all. I don't know where they would have pulled that from. Um, so who are you and what do you do? Um, I am Top Hat Designs. Um, my wife and I, we, we run Top Hat Designs. Um, we are not a big conglomeration. We don't do this for a living. It's basically a hobby. Uh, we have a nine to five job, but uh, we love being part of the community and part of the lifestyle. And uh, uh, woodworking has always been a passion of mine. Uh, I am Tattoo Master on the Fet Life webpage. That's the way to find me, Tattoo Master, all one word. Uh, we do woodworking. This is one of our... And of course, he's got to tease me with my favorite colors, right? Of course. That's how it's got to work. Absolutely. That's what we do. Check out this. If you guys can't see this, this is actually a zigzag that's like dug in. So you've got different panels that are all uh, carved out, essentially. So you get this little zebra effect. It's really neat. Actually, it leaves a great impression on uh, bottoms. And the back side's different though, right? Yeah, so well, the back side's that nice smooth. Yep. Yeah, on on this one we did grooves. On others we have convex and concave sides. Yep. Um, we like to make all of our toys uh, multi-purpose. Uh, we also do uh, things like NASCAR plastic, the indestructible slapper. Um, we we all we have other things. We have uh, you know sometimes we bring out bottle stoppers, ink pens, but uh, mainly we are a paddle maker. We don't branch out into uh, floggers and whatnot. We like to stick to what we know the best and, and that is wood and, and, and bringing those different sensations in wood to the community uh, and to fire. And fire has been a great experience. This is our second year here. Yeah. We're looking forward to returning next year. And uh, my, my wife is over in the booth right now and she is already coming up with some uh, possible ideas. I won't drop the, yeah. drop the ball on that just yet. But Next year we may have some uh, some cooler stuff. Yeah. So Darren, you said the paddle's freaking awesome. Were you meaning the pink one or the indestructible one? Because I have a feeling you might have been talking about the indestructible one, knowing the way that you play, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, speaking of which, so you call it the indestructible paddle. Do you have any kind of challenge thrown out to the community at I, large? Like I, I do not, but <laughs> I, I tell everybody, most of my paddles are – I have another one here with me as well. And this is going to be one of the giveaways that I that I give away to yep. you so you can give it away at a different time. This is uh, Ambrosia Maple and Black Walnut. It's about 17 inches long. It's triple layer. You can see the backbone in that there. It's awesome. So, so I have to totally do – I just watched uh, Pup Amp and his What's the Safe Word uh, video about his favorite things for the month. And so I totally have to plug his little, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Because it was pretty fucking hilarious. So if you guys missed that, this beautiful paddle we're going to be doing as a giveaway. So keep an eye out for the details on that because this little beauty could be yours. And as far as the challenge question goes, we do not have any per se challenges about the indestructible paddle. But I, I tell everybody, if they ever break a Top Hat Designs paddle, that um, I, I need to see the paddle, and I need to see the butt that it was broke on. There you go. Uh, and we might be able to uh, uh, to work out some kind of uh, replacement. There you go. But yeah. I'll tell you what, I have... I've been doing it for eight, nine years now, and I have never had one paddle come back broke. So, 
Knock on wood. All right. Well, thank you. Any last thank minute you. stuff you want to leave with anybody as far as? Absolutely not. Just, well, I guess to the people of Orlando, thank you. Uh, the Park Inn Hotel and uh, all the people that put together fire this year, the volunteers, they did an awesome job. They were on the spot when we needed something. Yep, definitely. And uh, I, I can't wait to come back again next year. All right. So one last little thing. Thank you for, for coming out and sitting with us. Thank and you. thank you for the little giveaway item. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the next person while we're doing that. See ya. Here is their business card so you can get that information. And check it out. There you go. All right, now we have somebody from Agreeable Agony. Yay! All right. Thank so, you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. So give just a quick, quick rundown who you are, what you do, uh, what the company does, all of that stuff. Lovely. I'm Jet. I am actually one of our four co-owners of our business. We're a collective of friends who have become family. We started because we're really into educated consumerism, and we really wanted to expand the amount of perspectives that are out there about different ways and different ways uh, to explore and to experience the BDSM spectrum. So that's where we started. Good. And now eight Good years later, we're still together, we're still besties, and we're traveling the country. I'm happy to sell you wonderful things. Yay! All right, so you've got some goodies to show us. What did you bring? So I'm going to tease you with your favorite oh, colors. Oh, it's the favorite colors again. So Jesse is our maker of impact toys. Um, he's been building for quite some time, and this is one of our leather goods. Um, everything is handmade by him, yep. and he is such a quality buff. Um, so we take real pride in guaranteeing them for as long as he's alive. Yep. Um, which is a great benefit to our work. Yep. Lots of color, lots of sensation. You, you don't need a one-hit toy, so we like to make them versatile and yeah. roundable. <laughs> all right, so let me show it off a little bit. So since the camera's altering the cuddle a little bit, I wanted to show you guys. That is actually like a metallic pink. It's showing up a little bit purple just because there's a blue light on the camera to show that it's recording. Um, but check that out. That's pretty fantastic. Yep. Shiny. Shiny. Our other product line is our hemp lines um, and our NFP. This is our hemp. I hand dye and process everything. Nice. So it's done to our specifications. We do custom color. What rope you choose is really up to you. It's yep. all a lot of preference and nonsense, which is wonderful and fantabulous. So come out, get your favorite color, make sure it's right for you, and we're happy to show you some ties if you're just getting started. And just to show that off, it's looking pretty subdued in the camera, but this stuff is super vibrant. Like it is, it is Crayola crayon green. Like it is very much green. Uh, so it's super bright. It's nice and soft too, which you don't get from a lot of the the natural fibers. So great Thank job! You. I like it. All that textile work works for you. Yes. And our last line of products is made by Kiernan. He's our candle master. And we have two sizes. You can see our lovely logo on them. And these are 100% paraffin. We started making them because we tried to just buy some for our own personal use. Right. Couldn't find them anywhere. Yeah. So like all good things, that's how we started making them. And yep. they've been a hit. We now do them in UV and a bunch yep. of colors. And uh, yeah, we have our own little custom jars now coming up in the yep. world. Yeah, I like these too. They, so this one is just a little, it's an actual little pitcher. So you've got their logo on there and it's got a handle so you don't have to worry about holding on to a hot candle. So you can sit there and pour and it does have a little pour spout on there. So you can get a good pour without it necessarily covering the whole side. Uh, and they come in so many different colors. Like they had a table full of them and I wish I'd gotten a really good picture when you guys started. Like every color of you know standard rainbow spectrum plus UV of the same thing. It was really cool. Um, and they went around with a black light and like double checked that yeah they really do glow so it was really neat to see all of them um, and a great tip for littles if you're like myself is if you get a lot of the teacups and you do a pitcher you have a tea set so yes. that's my little squee hot tip of the day <laughs> so multi-purpose you can do your wax plate and then you can also get your little tea set put all together I call that a win-win-win
talking about. It's fantastic. Thank you for All having right. me. Thank you for coming out. This was fantastic. All right. So we're going to see if we've got one more, I think, coming to join us. Are you coming to join us? Yeah. All right. We're getting Southeastern Whip Store or Whip Shop. Shop. Uh, Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Do a quick rundown just who you are, what you do, uh, what you make, all of that stuff. Okay. I am Miss Lee with Southeastern Whip Shop. I, I handcraft products out of paracord. Uh, some devious, not so, some not so devious. Which, okay, so I know a lot of you are like, uh, paracord, like, this stuff is fantastic. Like, it is not your normal boring, like, oh, it's paracord. Eh, it's nice and light. Like, it's not that stuff. It is. My mind is much more devious than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all teasing me with the colors. They're all bringing black and pink stuff. <laughs> this is both fantastic and terrible at the same time. So we'll start light and we'll go to heaven. There you go. This is what we call a butt punch bracelet. It comes in many colors. You actually put it on your hand this way, so you, it's great for impact play. Yep. It's got a nice little X's on it, which mark the skin beautifully. Available in many colors. Yeah. When, when she says many, many, many. Like, think of any color you can get paracord in. Many. Huge. Yep. Second are our slip restraints. So hands go in here. All right, limited time showing because we're doing a video, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Will you demonstrate with me? Hands go in here. No, I'm just kidding. Then these slip down. There you go. That's Great it. for wigglers. Can't get out of them. Yep. <laughs> so when we say you know you can't get out of them. The more you fight, the harder, the tighter they're going to get. Yeah, so absolutely. They, absolutely, they really do grip. So again, many colors available. This, this, this is my favorite thing. It's difficult to really tell this uh, on video or online. Excuse me. Um, this is actually paracord that has been shot loaded with BBs. There are 25 falls. Comes in two different sizes. I have one larger than this. Yep. Um, comes again many colors. It has a steel rod in the handle, so you can also use it for pummeling mm -hmm. and pressure points. Mm -hmm. You can also use it for print play. There you go. The great thing is too is you can braid this, put a really strong rubber band at the end of it, and it becomes then a really good wall. Good flexible bat. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're gonna we're gonna show this because I'm such a fan. We're gonna show this one a little closer. So that is pink and black falls. You can see right in the falls themselves if it's gonna focus. Maybe maybe not. Uh, you see all those little bumps. All of those little bumps are pieces of shot, like each individual. And, and this they are thing hand probably weighs a good two or three pounds. Mm -hmm. And it's a tiny little, like, I say tiny, but it's it's a short mm -hmm. flogger. You know, it's good for bedroom it's use. It's good for, you know, total mm -hmm. length. That's, I don't want to say tiny because it's not tiny. But for me, this is a very short flogger. <laughs> but it's got some heft to it. And it's definitely one of those that, you know, swing it around and tell the person, go ahead and grab onto something because you're going to go flying a little absolutely, bit. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And to know, too, a little bit about the construction of this so that you don't have to worry about it falling apart, is it's made very much like a whip is. It starts with two bellies, then it has an overlay. Those strands are what makes the falls. So this, this begins up here and yep. it ends down here. There's no middle pieces created in the middle. It's all one piece. That's good. That's good. Yep. That's it. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go ahead and show off the business card. Thank you. Any last minute parting words you want to give? Thank you very much. Um, were we doing the raffle thing? We will in a separate thing, but if you want to show what you're going to do. Okay. This is the piece that I'm going to be offering for the raffle. Ooh. So you can win this and take it up with you if you want to. There you go. So keep an eye out if you guys want that. Um, it will be up on giveaway information soon. So check it out i'm super excited <laughs> all right so i'm gonna put that right here and we're gonna go ahead and show the card and of course that blue light is there we go there we go all right cool awesome thank you very much thank you so much bye guys
<laughs> All right. Next up, we have Fireheart Fantasies. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. We brought some toys. Yay. All right. So here we are. So go ahead and give just a brief rundown who you are, what you do. We are Fireheart Fantasies. We're based out of Melbourne, Florida, and we make custom toys to hurt people with. Uh, hand turned, use them. Usually, all of them are hand turned handles, unless we get some of the production stuff. Yep. But the majority of them are all hand done. Uh, we have everything from deer to plastic to leather to about anything you want. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show off some of those pieces you've got. So we've got that one is what I call cotton candy with a marble wood handle. So all of this is plastic stranding. Yes. So it's going to be super stingy. And then you've got this wonderful, beautiful handle. There we go. And that one is deer with coca -Bola. Oh, it's nice and soft. Check out that. <laughs> Check out the wood. <laughs> You're playing with wood. I am, I'm playing with all of your wood. Oh. Now you have the Spectraply wood. There you go. So this is that kind of plasticky stuff too. But yeah, check out that rainbow. And then, so see if it'll show up on camera well or not. Not uh, so much. Kind of, a little bit. A little so bit. you can't see it well on camera, but this is actually glowing right now. Um, oh, I wish it would translate on camera. A little bit. Yeah, you can't see me. You can see a little bit of a green tint, but right here it's really bright green. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in person this thing is, like, definitely super, super bright. So if you do any kind of stuff... Yeah, oh, yeah, my hair. My hair also is, is black light reactive. We can give it a shot. Well, that shows up. Yes. There you go. So it looks like we're putting a spotlight on it, but it's not a spotlight. You can see right here it's blue. Uh, that's just my hair glowing. <laughs> you glow. So, yay. Um, so we do have a giveaway item from them as well. They are having. They are giving us one of their plastic glow floggers. And it's got a nice wood handle, it's a purple which has a pretty suggestive shape to it. That's so, so your hand doesn't slide off. Oh yes, that's 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 totally so your hand doesn't slide off. Yes. Put yeah, a condom on it first. Thinking, yeah. <laughs> wood is porous. Put a condom on it. Oh, cool. So any last uh, parting words? That well, you'd thank like you very to... much for having us, and we hope to see everybody out there at the shows in the future. Yeah. All right. So here is their business card. If you would like to check out their work, and it's gonna be blurry. Nap. Nap. Our there we go. It's kind of on there. Fireheart <laughs> Fantasy with an I. And we're also on Facebook under Fireheart Fantasies. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So that, I believe, is all we have for... Oh, wait. We do have another one. I thought we were almost done. We apparently have one more vendor that's making their way over here slowly. Anyways, so until we get our other vendor over here... Um, do you guys have any questions about fire, any questions about the vendors, any questions for the vendors that I've had on so far? Um, I can totally shout across the room and get some answers. Um, fire is a rope event in Orlando, in case you missed out. Um, it is one of the larger rope events in the country, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's only a few years old, so it's still nice and, and new, but... They have grown by leaps and bounds, and it's pretty fantastic. Um, and I say all of that while being slightly biased because it's run by some of my home community um, that runs the woodshed as well. So, all right, MJ, come on over. So we have uh, MJ from Cutting Edge. They uh, sell a bunch of different types of knives, so we're going to see some of the product that they've got. They have such a huge collection between... Uh, fantasy type blades and just general everyday carry stuff like it's a huge selection there we go come on in Ta -da! 
Uh, so MJ is also our vending coordinator for the event, which is pretty fantastic. So she helped put together this whole room of really fantastic vendors. So go ahead and give a little bit of who you are, what you do. Um, I'm MJ. I'm with Cutting Edge um, with my Sir Craig. And we sell knives and self-defense products and a couple of other evil beady things that yeah. <laughs> we've Also been... fans? Like, oh, can somebody oh, hand me one oh, of the fans? Absolutely. Yes. Excellent. So for those of you who like a good fan swap, they have fans. <laughs> or in other words, yes, queen. Yes. <laughs> So they have those two in case you need some. All right. And we have we have a lot of fixed blade knives. We've got folding knives. This one is one of our favorites. It's a poker. Um, check that one out. That's got some good heft to it too. Like that has a weight to it that you do not expect. We um, and we've sold a lot of our silver shadows. These were um, designed by Gil Hibben, who's a very famous knife maker. Um, this has always been one of our big sellers. Um, and going, going, gone because they are almost gone. Yes, but that's always a good problem to have. So the cool thing about this one is it basically looks like an itty bitty sword, like. Um, but it's got this wonderful metallic braided handle, um, and then it goes all the way up to a double-edged. Thank you. All right. Now they've brought us a giveaway item, too, so yay. We're going to have all kinds of good stuff. So what they have brought, oh, they brought us a good one. I'm just saying. All right, let's see. Our King Cobra knife. We're, we're undoing the plastic, so just, it is a brand new knife. Like, you're not getting one that's been all played with, and nope. like we're taking it out of plastic as we speak. Yeah, no one has touched it. It is pristine. Even has the little safety knob. Yep. So, here it is. We've got this wonderful knife. It's got basically a brass knuckle kind of handle all the way down to the point and that's where they said the you know it's got this little safety edge um there's the other side of it so you can see the check that out that that is pretty nifty thank you you're that's, welcome that's pretty fantastic so, so keep an eye out this is going to be up to for giveaway as well i'll go ahead and hand that and to you so we can put it back in its it comes in a sheath you can find us on Fat Life under Cutting Edge. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram. Yep. We are Edge underscore knives. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and we'll show off the business card. There we go. All right. Cool. Thank so you. keep an eye out, guys. We're going to have all this stuff. I'm going to try to add all the contact information soon to the video. So you've got all the links and all the contact info so you can follow them on all of the different social media platforms. Um, and if you check out the paper behind us, we also have uh, everybody signed it uh, to kind of go, hey, we were here. Um, so I'll try to get some close-ups of that and, and post those on social media as well. So thank you again. For thank you. And helping. Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right over here with its box. Yeah. Um, so if you guys have any other questions or anything that you'd like to see um, related to fire, definitely follow all of the fire um, social media and things like that, which I will post the links on. If you're interested in coming next year, make sure you buy your tickets as soon as they go on sale because they actually sold out this year uh, before the event happened. Uh, so they had some day dungeon passes, I think, that were available after the event started, but I think they sold out at least a week or two before the event even happened, uh, which if you've been to leather conferences and kink conferences really doesn't happen very often. So 
get your tickets as soon as they're available if you're wanting to come to this. Uh, they start sending out different social media stuff pretty quickly, and you can always check out the hashtag, which is this Fire Rope 2018 to see pictures and images of what happened at the event. So check that out. Um, thank you for joining for a little bit. <gasps> we have one more person. Yay! Everybody's kind of breaking down right now, so I wasn't sure who we were getting. We have Petey Kilts. Yay! How are you? Thanks for coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so just a quick who you are, what you do, and about Petey Kilts. Um, I'm Miss Kitten. I am the owner, the new owner of Petey Kilts. Yay! Yay, it's very exciting. So Petey Kilts is relocated. We're now located in... Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. And uh, we're very excited. Um, we're spreading out to get all over the country now. Yep. So I'm from Salt Lake City, but I'm clear out here in Orlando right now doing a show. Yeah. Um, we're very, I'm really excited about what I can do with this business mm -hmm. myself, having got into it. Um, we uh, have a motto that we will fit any okay. size, any yeah. gender. Yes. Any body. So I, I have to tell a little bit of a quick story. Uh, somebody earlier was asking what the difference is between a women's kilt and a men's kilt. And I love the answer that you guys gave, which was purely there, there isn't one. We want to put engines. you, yeah, we want to put you in the kilt that's going to match you and your body the best, yeah. not this is men's, this is women's right. uh, color. Like it, it was nothing about, you know, I mean, yeah, the search engine answers purely yeah. because you know, if you put in Google hasn't caught up yet. Yeah, if you if you don't put in men's kilts versus women's kilts, you won't yeah. show up in search engine results, and that's not good for a growing business. So that's true. Um, I really love that your guys' answer was just yeah, um, more kilts. We um, we carry pretty much the same style in all the sizes, and some we stock, and some are that are less common we don't stock them, but yeah. we will make them. Um, you just have to ask for them, and yeah. that's what, and we'll make it for you. Um, but any of the any of the styles work, whatever we'll just, mm -hmm. it, we make it for fit. But you know, we have, we have, we carry leather kilts, we carry some tartans, we carry yep. um, solid colors, uh, some of the brighter colors, yeah, uh, just for fun, and uh, and we have some pretty traditional ones too. We've got uh, beautiful tradesmen that is. Um, uh, suede and duck cloth combination yep. that kind of evo evokes the really nice blacksmith looking. yep of old kind of look and yep. uh and yes we have a we have a um lot we, we do you know we have like classic classic type color kilts you know this one's just yeah kind of your standard basic black. standard black you yep. know and but then we can make the same kilt in really bright colors Ooh, like hot pink, pink or purple if that's what you want to do <laughs> And then we also will do colored pleats, and we have several colors to choose from. This particular one, however, this is so gorgeous. So good. Right? This is Just leather. I'm gonna sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. But so, this is our two-tone style, and it has the colored pleats in it, which we do this. Um, the we can do the leather, and currently we do the leather in red, oh, yellow. Um, I'm actually trying. I'm testing now to see if I can do blue. Um, because I think blue is going to be amazing. Yeah. And um, but we also do these in the in the cloth kilts as well. And in the yeah. cloth, we do tons of colors: burgundy, yeah. burgundy, green, blue, red, yellow, hot pink, green. Yeah, I, say, I don't, I don't think things. there's a color that I've seen that you guys haven't done yet, <laughs> yeah. as far as you know. Even if they don't make it currently, if you just kind of go, hey, I really want a one that's got like pink and purple pleats like yeah. i'm fairly certain they'd be like yeah right. <laughs> i i will do my best to source yeah. the the fabric that will make that work yeah and it's it, yeah awesome it. yeah thank you for coming oh out. you're so welcome Yay. thank you for having me yeah definitely awesome all right so here is that card and we will share that information so you guys can get a hold of them and figure all that we're stuff on facebook out, so. we're on twitter we're on instagram all the things awesome all the social things yeah thank you thanks bye all right, so we do have one more that's joining us. Hooray for last minute additions. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get them involved. Come on over. Yay. Welcome. Well, thank you. So go ahead and give it a brief introduction, who you are, what you do. Okay. I am Chris or Lord Caleb. 
and I spent a lot of time reading tarot cards. Yep. That's what I do at events primarily. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to be doing more primarily yeah. <laughs> in the near future. And so that's what we got going. Uh, I have been doing this for quite some time, and I have some very good references yep. if you want to do it. And I'm very good at helping people who are afraid of tarot reading, mm -hmm. uh, helping people who are unsure about or have had bad experiences with tarot reading, and then especially people who've never had one before. Yeah, super approachable and so friendly. I mean, you've got candy on the table at all times to kind Always. of just, you know, come by, grab a piece of candy, say hi, uh, get I a try reading. To, I try to bring as many decks as I can. Yep. So that we have, uh, you have a variety to choose from when you do the reading. And you come look at the artwork. I mean, that's yeah. why I collect them in the first place. Yeah, we've had a number of conversations about just how pretty some of them are. Yeah. So it's... We just kind of, if for nothing else, kind of walking by and just going, well, that's pretty, uh, has been really cool. So, uh. And, uh, I do all, generally speaking, I do all the readings on a donation basis. Yeah, there you so go. So don't worry about it if you don't have any money right now. Just come there on by, go. get a reading. We'll work it out later. And besides that, I just want you to pay it forward. I want you to have an enjoyable experience and get something from it I hope well, that's really cool so um, any kind of last like any cool stories that you want to tell or any kind of last minute parting anything that you want to I have made some of the best friends yeah that I can have Through by readings. these readings nice. in fact um, don't hold me to this please but in general if I get to know you well enough and I find that you have an interest in it uh, the last Three conferences, events that I went to, mm -hmm. um, people who have been by the table regularly had the uh, <clears throat> pleasure of being gifted a deck. Oh, there you go. And so uh, if I get a feeling that that's the way it should go, I'll give the decks away and go from there. But I don't sell them. I sell the boxes. Yep. Again, so. Yeah, which makes some pretty cool looking boxes with yarn Something I gotta do with my, I gotta do with my spare time yeah <laughs> so yeah and we've we've been running into each other at events for probably about six or seven years now I think I don't it's been remember quite a while. I don't remember when I met you the first time uh, it's, it's been a while yeah it's been a good bit so thank you for stopping by and talking Not about what problem. you do so all right cool sure. you thank guys you. have a good one you too all right, so thank you everyone for stopping by. We're going to go ahead and close this out because the vendor room is starting to get shut down. Um, here is the business card for the... Uh, I will I will definitely post all of this stuff. Unfortunately, the cards aren't just... The camera doesn't want to focus on them, so I will definitely post that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because it looks like a lot of people are wrapping up as far as the vending room. So if you missed out on getting anything, uh, make sure that you check the comment section and check the details um, from the post because once I get all the information out there, you guys can check out their websites, check out their social media, um, and any kind of stuff that you're like, oh my gosh, I saw this thing and it's really cool. Um, I do this to help make sure that, you know, Anybody can contact these folks and, and get the gear that you're looking for, whether you're able to get to an event or not. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope that you guys have a great Sunday. See you later. <laughs>